Hello and welcome to the Boozle Box, and welcome back to Tech It. Haven't done a, uh, a Tech It series in a while, and uh, and now we will uh, have a quick look at uh, this upcoming series. As you can see, we've got a lovely view of our Tech It world as it is now, with the Boozle Castle, Power Station, uh, the Automated Farm, and over here we have uh, our doors. And there's a little something over there that I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, so here we are, we're at Boozle Block. Um, this is the latest construction that's gone on on the world. Uh, it's still not 100% finished, there's a couple of wires hanging around. Let me just uh, turn the lights on. There we go. Brighten the place up a bit. Got a couple bugs in the system, but uh, nothing much. It'll all be fixed soon, a little bit of broken glass. Uh, but that's all uh, all there is at the moment. Um, now, we uh, there's, a, there's quite a large hole here. Um, and I don't know if any of you have guessed, I've put a couple comments around on Twitter, uh, that this will be an uplifting tutorial. It's a bad joke, basically, as... Whoop, down we go. As this uh, lovely building, of which I've come out of now, show you the outside is uh, is going to be the base of our new tutorial and behind it there you can see is we will be building a lift system uh, this is a multi-story lift it will go to all of these floors and uh, it's a very simple design and quite easy to build and that's what I uh, have intended to make it as um, I don't like complicated things. I know some of these things are, like the uh, the automated farm. All of these, if you haven't seen them before, you can just look at the Tech It series and find how to build the, all of these things. You can see. Obviously, this uh, automated farm has got loads of wheat in it. I have to keep and some cooked pork chops. Apparently, I have to keep taking stuff out as it keeps filling up and overflowing. Uh, so that's nice and efficient. And obviously, the power station has been running. I did turn it off. Uh, as I didn't want to lag out the video at all, but that's still there. It hasn't blown up yet. I've had it running for quite a while. Now this uh, this is uh, a little failed project of mine. Uh, as you can see, it's a hot air balloon, and I was planning on making a hot air balloon for you guys um, and girls <laughs> uh, that you'd be able to fly using Red Power remotes. Uh, sorry, they're not Red Power remotes, they're an add-on for Red Power, part of TechIt. Um, but it didn't work. But, I will consider <laughs> possibly uh, attempting this again, as I know it can be done. It's just going to take a little bit of time. If you'd like to see this done, just um, pop in the comment section the word balloon. And uh, if I get enough of those comments, I will, uh, I will have a look into... Uh, making this a reality and uh, I hope many people get enjoyment out of it if it is made so remember that balloon in the comments right so the lift for the boozle block as uh, stairs are rather boring and falling is not so much uh, a pastime of mine well it is I suppose um, so here we are this is the lift system it's a, uh, a 10 by 6 system that don't worry about that I'm just I'm stealing power for a little experiment that I did over there uh, as on top of this lift system there's a load of solar panels and that's how it's powered now there are two remotes here one remote sends the lift up one remote sends the lift down uh, let's just take it to the ground floor there we go as you can see it has doors <laughs> I haven't seen a lift system like this in uh, using TechIt before, so I hope this is unique and uh, everyone likes it. For some reason, the uh, the arm blocks haven't loaded there. That's due to my client. But there we go. That'll load them up. As you can see, uh, we have these lights here. Uh, these display where the lift is, because um, obviously, when you click the remote, the lift will go up or down one floor. So if you're on, say this floor above. This light will indicate that the lift is below you so you just have to use the up control and the lift will come up to your floor 
like magic. If, as you can see, oop. There we go. It's <laughs> a little bit of lag in the world. It's getting very cluttered in here. So, we'll ride the lift up to the top. Up we go. And doors open. And obviously now if I go to the bottom floor, the light is now showing that the lift is above us. And we can ride this the whole way up to the top. Obviously there's a little bit of red power lag. As always, my computer is not the, uh, the best. Uh, everyone probably knows. <laughs> Right, we are we are at the top, and that's why it's not actually going anywhere. Um, it's a very simple construction. I'll give you a look at the back. Um, there's a lot in here. Uh, there's a lot of logic spewed along the walls, and that's for the light system to tell you where the lift is. Uh, the drive system here, and it's all controlled by the little box at the top here. This is slightly unorganised. Uh, it's a little bit of logic, nothing too severe. Uh, but what I've done is I've broken it down into these individual modules. This is the bottom module, uh, just the normal middle piece, so this is the normal floor. Uh, this is the top and then that is the very top, <laughs> the bit on top of the top, uh, that controls the lift itself. So you can have as many floors as you like. You could just have two floors with the top at the bottom and the top section with the control unit or you could yeah you could have as many floors as we got there. I don't actually know how many floors it is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven floors there. Um, lucky number for some. So uh, that is just a basic lowdown of, uh, of what we're going to be doing in this series. I, uh, I hope you'll enjoy it and soon it will be coming out as I am currently recording how to build these uh, we will be building them inside of here uh, we will be building the modules individually in here as I've left exactly the right amount of room to build everything you see there in these spots so we won't be missing out on anything and you can construct it on your own buildings or underground bases or anything there's loads of different ways you could do this if you're uh, if you're a little bit um, more in tune with red power this control unit could be placed anywhere uh, it doesn't have to be placed at the top uh, I've constructed it so it fits at the top I've made this one look a bit nicer and neater and that's how I'm gonna build it for you guys um, and obviously these two will connect with that one, but if you were to send them up or through there, you could have this unit anywhere. And so that doesn't really matter where it is. Now the sun is rising, it's the start of a new day, so I'll end this quick video here, or this tour, and I will continue recording the construction of the Boozle Block Lift. And I hope to see you in the next video. Please like and favourite this video if you uh, are interested in the uh, the tutorial and remember pop balloons in the comment or balloon in the comment if you wish to see a, uh, a ticket tutorial on how to build your own hot air balloon that you can fly around in and enjoy the world so thanks for watching subscribe and I will see you next time bye